Oh, we're shooting right now. How's it? And welcome back to another wonderful day of load shedding in South Africa. My name is Lester van der Mare. For those of you who are new, which I assume at this point is pretty much everyone. Today, we have a live studio audience. Yeesh. Enough of that fluff for today. Today, we're going to talk about how to find and cultivate your own unique art style. Now, as many of you guys know, I have gone through many, many art styles myself. So to say that I have an art style down to a T would be a straight up lie to all of you. But I will share with you the things that I have learned up until thus far. The first step is to just start. Now, this might sound strange to many of you, but the best way to start is just to create without any reference and see what it is that you have dormant inside of you at this point. The work you are creating at this point is most likely going to be the most authentic work or it can look exactly like somebody else's work but this is fine this is the starting point the next step is to steal steal and steal some more yes you heard me steal find work that you find interesting and just copy them try and find out what about that piece of work you find interesting and try and dissect it piece by piece to see what you could use in your own paint try and figure out exactly what it is about the artist that you find interesting be it the way they use color be it the way they use um, material be it the way they use uh, their painting style it could even be something as simple as a shadow for example, I was very inspired by an artist I once saw at a gallery just by the way he used shadow and that changed completely the way I imagine my painting shadows being used in the future. The next step is to go back. This is a very, very important part of the process and it might sound strange that you have to go back to square one, but this is where the original magic happens. You have to try and figure out what it is that you liked about your own work and try and dissect it again and amalgamate it with the inspirations that you drew from the previous artist. It could be anything. So just sit down and think about what exactly it is that made your work unique in the first place. The next step is combine. Now that you've established what it is that you like about certain artists and certain art pieces, it's very important to take your own work and take their work and amalgamate them. This sounds much easier said than done, but look at some examples that I've done in the, in the past. This is an example of my work 10 years ago. This is an example of my work about four or five years ago. This is an example of the painting or the artist that I found inspiration at, at this point of my life. And this is the final product that, that you can see right now, the amalgamation of all these paintings coming together over a time of practice and dissecting each and every piece that I enjoyed from artists I've experienced throughout the last 10 years. Now, like I said, this process, it could take you years. It could take you months, it could take you days if you've already got something established. It probably won't take you 10 years if you've already got something going. Um, but my discovery for figuring out my style has been going on for about my whole life. The final step is to just breathe. This process will happen in its due time. It will take some time, but it will happen when it has to happen. Just remember, practice doesn't make perfect, it makes improvement. And 99% of the work happens here before it happens here. So just keep working and don't stress too much about it. So yeah. That's me. I hope you enjoyed this video and could find some substance or something interesting to help you in the future. Uh, if you'd like this video, feel free to like and subscribe the video. And yeah, that's pretty much me for today. Much love. See you in the next one. Also, feel free to follow me on all socials at Lester van der Artist. And yeah, that's it. Scoop de poop. Whoop de. Scoop de whoop poop poop. Salaka kuchle, scoop di poop.